do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Dreamer. Alright, so we back with another big body banger. You feel me? Listen, today we have a different type of video. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is a little different than what we usually be reacting to. This girl, this woman, you know what I'm saying? She was she was hired by this nice wholesome family to watch the house. She's a house hitter and a dog walker, I guess. I don't freaking know. I think she walking their dogs while they're on vacation and she making sure their house is not burning down or whatever it is. So she has to go in the house and all this stuff. But She's a bum. And the reason I'm telling you she's a bum is because she does not have a home of her own to bring these men back to. So apparently she got caught bringing men and clapping in that family's house. Now, this is a wholesome family, a God-fearing family. You know what I'm saying? This family has three kids, all under the ages of seven. They are just wholesome, happy, living life vibing. And she's getting clapped and busted down and nutted all over on their on living room couch. You know what I'm saying? Ridiculous stuff. And she, I guess she didn't realize that they got cameras in their house. I don't, first of all, I don't know why they have cameras in their house. I know that's kind of weird to me personally, but they have cameras in their house. Maybe they got it just because she was going there and they probably didn't trust her. But then they watching that footage, like just imagine. And then your kid was, you came home from vacation. You ain't watched the videos or nothing like that. Then like a year later, you watch the videos. Or like a week later, you watch the videos. But your kids has already been laying on the couch and all that. And it was like, mommy, what's this? Why, why is there toaster strudel juices on the couch? They're confused. It's all over their face. And you was like, we don't even eat toaster strudels. We're vegan. And, and it, it, it's not. Not now your kids got nothing on their face. And you ain't know why. But anyways, you finna watch this video. I just went on a whole tantrum for no reason. I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see what the heck going on in here. I, I don't think she, that's not illegal or nothing, I don't think. But, so I don't think she went to jail or nothing. But uh, I don't know. We finna see. If you're excited for this video, smash the like button. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Hit the post notification bell so you can be notified whenever I drop these bangers. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah. Before we hop into the video, Jura.com, you can buy two and third freak bundle up. Say stuff $50. Did I just hit the mic? I'm sorry. Let's go, though. Let's go. Just checking. You knew that there was a security camera there. I did. A South Bay pet sitter caught on camera getting romantic in a customer's home after being hired through a popular dog walking app. Yeah, the story provides some tips in this. Wait a minute. Okay, I'm not going to pause it over deep, but I'm, this is the girl? Just checking. You knew that there was a security camera there. First impression of this girl, she looked kind of like a man. That's my f personal first impression. Now, my personal, it's my part. Look at her eyebrows. They look stupid. Anyways. I did. And the kid looks like, he looks like 14 years old. All right, I'm done pausing it. But he looks like, four, he's built like a 13-year-old a girl. I don't know what the heck going on here. That are caught on camera getting romantic in a customer's home after being hired through a popular dog walking app. Yeah, the story provides some tips in this gig economy. If you use phone apps for food delivery, personal shopping, massage, or dog walking. Yeah, amazing. I-Team reporter Dan Noyes is here with uh, one customer's nightmare. So strange. What a it story. Is. Well, Dan and Amma, the company in question tells me they do thorough background checks on their dog walkers and pet sitters who are independent contractors. Obviously not. They didn't know that she was a porn star. Or maybe a prostitute. But that the reported conduct in this case is unacceptable. Rosie Brown has two rambunctious little dogs, Penny and Daisy. When she headed out of town for a wedding three weeks ago, she turned to a popular app to find a pet sitter. Get a WAG certified walker to walk your dog at a moment's notice. Rosie met 26-year-old WAG dog walker and sitter Casey Brengel. She had 210 five-star reviews. And I'm thinking, okay, this is great. They agreed on four and a half days of house sitting with long walks for $315 and discussed the doggy cam on the kitchen counter. It also shoots out treats. Rosie headed to Louisiana and on the day of her cousin's wedding received an alert from the camera. On the preview of the alert, it showed a man in our house, someone that I wasn't expecting. So I opened it up and that's when I saw that she was there with a man in our house. So she told her that there's a camera in the house. And she's still stupid enough to do something? Okay, okay. And they were going straight for our bedroom. The video shows Casey's boyfriend at the apartment on several occasions. At one point, locking the dogs outside the master bedroom. On another, going from the master to the guest bedroom. After several days of texting, Casey Brengel finally agreed to speak with me on camera. 
she believes that you were having sex in both of the bedrooms. I, it's okay that she believes that that's not what was going. Let's be honest, young man. Let's let's be let's let's be honest. Now, if we rewind real quick, if we rewind to right here, you're not wearing any clothes, and he's unbuttoning his pants. Watch. From the master to the guest Unbuttoning bedroom. pants, getting ready to do the dirty. You, what were you doing there? Bible study? Booty balls naked? Huh? Like, come on, let's be realistic, young man. Several days of texting, Casey Brengel finally agreed to speak with me on camera. She believes that you were having sex in both of the bedrooms. I, oh, it's okay that she believes that that's not what was going on. Casey's father and mother also visited, even though the WAG guidelines say it's walkers and sitters should not allow any third. <laughs> Wait, did y'all brought the family to the crib? The family not know she homeless? But why? <laughs> what? What the? F she brought her family to the. Bro, come on now. Come on now, let's be realistic, bro. Parties into the home of the pet parent. And several times, the camera caught Casey naked on the couch that Rosie Brown had saved for six months to buy. Hey, you wasn't clapping. So you just walk around booty balls naked, slanging your slang all over the place. Putting it all over the couch. Putting your nasty cooter juices all over the couch. You nasty. Got hot, and uh, as I it got hot. You mother, you was a hot, you were a horrible liar. I'm done pausing it, but she's a horrible liar. That's all I got to say. Said I don't like wearing clothes. <laughs> to see that video where she's just butt naked, you know, sitting on it and laying on it, that was really hard because you know we just spot it. I don't lay down right there, you know. I oh just, really? Yeah. It's actually affected the way that you use yeah. your own couch. Yeah, that's actually that used to be my favorite spot. <laughs> <laughs> right in the middle, but I don't really touch it. She can't sit on her favorite spot any longer because she has the image of you being naked on that same spot. Do you understand that? I do. Yeah. I do, and I feel terrible about it. Come on. Like... And it's not, it was not something I did with intent or ma with malice. She tells me Rosie allowed her boyfriend to come over for dinner on a previous job, but that she did not clear any visitors for this session. The camera also documented Casey taking the dogs out for just one to five minute potty breaks, not the 30 or 60 minute walks usually ordered through the WAG app. And it caught her cursing at Daisy after the dog had been playing rough with Penny. Fish. Is that really appropriate? No, it's not. She, but she had been acting like a jerk, and I agree that's not appropriate. I was frustrated not at her, at myself, at other things. I had gotten in a fight with my mom, and I agree it was not appropriate. No one cares. Like, you're saying all the things that no one cares about. Tell us why you were getting buffed down, booty balls naked in both rooms, on the couch and all that. Tell us why you lie about that, too. Huh? Appropriate. After Rosie Brown complained to WAG and I contacted the company, they suspended Casey Brangle and sent the IT team a statement that reads in part, the report of behavior in the situation is unacceptable and contrary to our community guidelines. We expect everyone on the WAG platform to conduct themselves professionally. These are my dogs, so I know how difficult it can be to find a good walker or pet sitter. No one asked about your dogs. No one asked. Like, oh, no, what are you, well, you're, all, you're at work. Why do you have your dogs with you at work, Dan? Huh? As for WAG, I contacted the Better Business Bureau, and they tell me the company has had a rocky few months dealing with consumer complaints. The BBB has received 47 complaints about WAG since September 2017 for things like not applying credits properly, walkers not showing up, keys, money, or other items stolen, and dogs getting loose on the walker's time. Last month, the Bureau gave WAG an F for the way it addressed complaints, changed it to NR or not rated while they worked with the company to help them improve their process for responding to and resolving consumer complaints. And this week, awarded WAG an A-plus for the progress they made. Rosie Brown still has questions about how WAG supervises walkers once they pass the company's background check. How do you know that a WAG walker or sitter who's done a thousand walks or 500 sitting sessions, how they're doing on the 500 first session? They could be a completely different person from when you last checked in with them for the background check. The company responds, pet parents' ratings and feedback provide WAG an ongoing assessment of the pet care provider's services. It also helps us to determine whether providers should be allowed to remain on the platform. 
WAG IS OFFERING TO PAY FOR CLEANING SERVICES AND A LOCKSMITH. NOW HERE ARE SOME TIPS. BE HONEST ON YOUR APPLICATION ABOUT YOUR EXPECTATIONS AND ABOUT YOUR DOGS. REVEAL ANY PROBLEMS YOUR DOGS MAY HAVE, SAY WITH AGGRESSION. MEET THE WORKER BEFORE YOU HIRE THEM AND BUY ONE OF THOSE DOGGY CAMERAS. YOU KNOW, AND NOT NECESSARILY TO CATCH SOMEONE, oh. BUT TO PREVENT THINGS FROM... Sure. JUST GO IN AND TELL THEM THE CAMERA'S THERE, yeah, right? Right, RIGHT? AND HOEPFULLY IT'LL STOP ANYTHING BAD FROM it's HAPPENING. Nice EVERYBODY BEHAVE RIGHT. EXACTLY. Yeah. THAT'S RIGHT. Thanks. Hey, I'm confused about all that. You know what I'm saying? Thanks very much, Dan, for every, everything you just said that I did not care about. But I'm confused. Why would she do all that knowing there's a camera there? Like, she knows there's a camera there. It's not like she hid it from her. She told her that it's some mother effing camera there, and you knew it was mother effing camera there. You still had Thanksgiving, family gatherings, Clapper Town, everything in the, in the girl house. Like, are you stupid or are you stupid? Like, let's be realistic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let me know what y'all think in the comments down below, though. This is, this is, this is like one of those things where it's like, why? You know what I'm saying? Why are you so stupid? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why did your parents go in there? They should know that you, you that's not your house. And they should know that that's not right. If you don't know that that's right, I mean, if you don't know that that's not right, then they should know that that's not right. It's ridiculous. It's stupid. Absurd. Anyways, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. What would y'all do if y'all caught a random person just busting cheeks down at your crib when you when you asked them to babysit? Say you asked your best friend and your best friend was just bringing shorties to the crib, busting them down. You know what I'm saying? Freaky dicky style all over your bed, all over your couch, all on your floor. What would you do? Is that something where you like cut them off type thing? Or is that just like, bro, that's nasty. Don't do that again. But we still cool. Like Y'all let me know what in the comments down below. What would y'all do if this happened to y'all? Me personally... I got to go over their house and start clapping and all that. But they don't probably got a house. That's the thing. Yeah. Anyways. That's the end of the video. I'm going to see y'all out. Hey, yo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly. Wings to the sky, no, I'm never borderline. They choose I because I'm way above you. The waves make the haters love you when the ladies come through.